Afternoon all. Now here's a quick update on the results of my recent eBay splurge on lithium battery stuff. So let's quickly go through it. At the back we have the Ultrafire batteries um, and also there's a Sanyo protected one on the right. Now I'm not going to buy any more Ultrafires because they're all rubbish. Even the gold one there, second in from the left, is supposedly 4,000 milliamp hours. Let's turn that around. 4,000 milliamp hours it's meant to be. It's no better than the 3,000 milliamp hour red ones. Now I'm testing the capacity of these batteries while I'm charging them. I don't have any means to test them while I'm discharging them. But you can see that the SoShine S7 uh, battery charger, which can do both lithium ion and nickel metal hydride, counts the milliamp hours there on the bottom left while it's charging. Now lithium batteries don't get particularly hot while they charge, so most of the charge that goes in you're going to be able to recover. So although it doesn't give you an accurate uh, milliamp hour rating for discharge, it's not a bad indication. And these ultrafires uh, stop at about 600 milliamp hours. A couple of these E-Fest, uh, they're only 2250 milliamp hours, but they're lithium manganese and uh, they have a very high current rating. These are supposedly rated at 10 amps discharge, continuous uh, discharge. Also got some of these um, plastic 18650 cases to hold the uh, 18650s. Now there are a few items down here which are used on multi-cell um, lithium polymer packs and these are the ones with these multiple pins. Um, liquid crystal one here, these are sold for about um, six or seven pounds but if you're cute and you sit there at midnight and uh, snipe them you can get them for three or four pounds. And these little um, multi-segment LED ones one of them was under a pound, I think, and that includes shipping. So I just thought I'd get those, have a bit of a play with them. I don't have any um, multi-cell lithium packs yet. Nevertheless, these uh, might be able to do something useful. And then there are the two helicopter uh, battery packs, the lithium polymer 240 milliamp hour, which I'm going to use in various projects. And I've already done um, a video on the TP4056 lithium charger board. One of them now is mounted on the um, battery holder so that I can charge cells myself and monitor what's going on on those pins I've soldered on there. And the other one I've modified with a 10k resistor so that it can charge at a low current these uh, small lithium polymer packs. And finally to use the power that I'm putting into uh, these lithium cells I've bought a couple of these um, mobile power packs. Uh, this one is um, it's uh, for four 18650s. It's got two USBs on the top. It's also got um, a little power port there and you can have any voltage coming out of this thing from 5 to 13 volts in steps of half a volt. And I also got um, a bigger version, similar sort of thing. Doesn't have the three digit uh, display, but this one does have, if I take the lid off, room for six 18650s inside. And the electronics inside these boxes is quite fascinating. Just take the lid off this other one. Uh, there's the board on this one. And I'll do a video on the, um, the, the various chips that are on these boards because they're quite sophisticated really and uh, I think that would make quite an interesting uh, video. So there's my um, eBay haul of lithium related gadgetry and uh, we'll come back to that in subsequent videos. Oh and I missed uh, something out which is the uh, USB charger doctor which is just a little USB uh, voltage and current measuring device which is very useful for checking the output of these uh, big mobile power packs. I'll just briefly show that. So there it is, I've plugged it onto one of the USB outputs of the six uh, 18650 power packs. It's saying 0 amps and 5.22 volts. It's just handy for checking um, USB, how much voltage and current you're getting. There it is, eBay splurge haul.